Well, good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I hope everybody is ready for an absolutely amazing day. I'm super excited because we have an absolutely amazing first grader from the always extraordinary Miss Arisado's class. I have Dima Timken, who will be leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. And then following that, because it's a Wednesday and because we only have one cohort on campus, we're going to pause the reading of our One School, One Book um, event of Song for a Whale because one cohort won't get to hear it. So we're going to flip it around a little bit. And on these Wednesdays, we're either going to focus in on our Pyramid of Success block, which this month happens to be this, Action. And I'm really excited about that. And then on other Wednesdays, we're going to be really focusing on celebrating and commemorating Asian American and Pacific Islander Month, which happens to be the month of May as well. But also, following the amazing Dima, we're going to get to hear from the actual authors of Inch and Miles, The Pyramid of Success, Tim and Peanut Harper. And I sat down with them and asked them, what does action mean and how can students do it? And as you're listening, and teachers will hear this too, you're going to hear a lot about how action is very similar to a growth mindset. So I hope you love this. I hope you love this interview. Dima, I am so excited for you, buddy. Take it away. And everybody else, have a great day. Hi, my name is Dima. I am seven years old in Ms. Rosado's class. Please take off your, all of your hats and hoods. And, and please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, All right, everybody. Well, I am super excited because it is the month of May. And in the month of May, we are changing our block, our focus on the pyramid of success. And I'm super excited because joining us again, the amazing authors and creators of Inch and Miles, The Journey to Success. Here are Tim and Peanut Harper to help us kick off. Yep. Super awesome. That's them. That's you guys too. That is you guys too. But the focus for the month of May Dun, 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 is going to be action. Now, in the book, Inch and Miles, action is led by Skittles the squirrel, which if you can't think of an animal that is all about action, a squirrel is going to be it. And so let me just read you the poem that goes with it. It says, I scurry around and round each day. Taking actions is my way. I get up and go and give it my all. When action's needed, I never stall. And when I look for lunch to eat, I'm not afraid to risk defeat. Don't feel failure, try your best. Take some action for success. So that's in here, all right? But you know what, Peanut, I have a question for you because just as a reminder for everybody, the Pyramid of Success was actually created by legendary UCLA basketball coach, John Wooden. Yeah, and I always wanna know what would John Wooden say is the key to success. Well, I have the book right here, my resource. I, parents, if you don't have a copy, I highly recommend it. It is our go-to Coach Wooden source. So what Coach Wooden would say about action, and he says it, you know, when we think about action, it's like, oh, we gotta go do something or we gotta move. But what Coach Wooden meant by action is, you must not be afraid to fail. Action is having the courage to make decisions and take action. Keep in mind that we all are going to fail at times. This you must know, none of us are perfect. But if you're afraid of failure, you will never do the things you are capable of doing. Never fear, never fear failure, it is something to learn from. You have conquered fear when you have action. They can't say it better than that. That's amazing. And so, you know, one of the things that we focus on, especially in school, is the whole idea of a growth mindset, you know, being willing to take a risk. And so a lot of the different blocks that we have focused on have contributed to that whole idea of a growth mindset. And so it's really neat to hear that action, it really is more about being willing to take those steps, knowing that you might fail, but being willing to do it anyway. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. So- no, I 
uh, Todd, we've heard from so many super successful people, whether they're athletes or whatever car their careers, they said they could not be successful without failing. So mm -hmm. failing is actually a good thing, even though sometimes it's not so fun. Um, you know, it helps you learn how to be better and better and better. And, you know, we also just this in the month of April, we, we shared a story about Dr. Temple Grandin. I don't know if you are familiar with her, um, but she has autism. And one of the things that she had mentioned was that to keep learning, especially from your mistakes, that that's OK. It's OK to make a mistake. It's to learn from it. So I love that we're getting kind of as we're kind of gearing up towards the end of the year, kind of looking at action is just like, all right, getting moving, getting going. And so, Tim, my question for you is, is that could you give some advice to our students, to our teachers, to our families about what action could look like? I would love to. First of all, Weaver, we love you guys. We got so much respect for you. Hello from San Francisco. And we're hoping maybe next year we can come see you in person. We don't have to do the Zoom. Principal Schmidt, action to me, it's an F word fun i hear a lot of word about failure failure yeah you have to fail to succeed but look at where action is it's right next to alertness so think of action this way students maybe you're a tennis player and your coach teaches you a new stroke and you're learning all the time that's what alertness is you can't just sit there okay that's cool you want to go out and try that that's the fun part action means you go out and try things that you learn your teachers are going to teach you new math problems and things like that you're going to figure that out and you're going to go wow i did that i took some action i figured it out action means fun to me and here's another way to look at it principal schmidt think about this year students and teachers what you had to do you had to learn from home you had to get on zoom you had to learn zoom you had to take some action to be successful this year in your school year and you did it. Yeah. I give you a standing ovation. <laughs> thank you, thank Principal you. Schmidt. Well, thank you guys. And I really, again, just am so grateful that we were able to partner with you this year. I am really looking forward to you guys getting to come see what the amazingness is around this place. These are extraordinary teachers. And yeah, next month in June, and I know we'll get to it, but we're going to be ending this whole thing with personal best. But for the month of May, Again, we're focusing in on that action. So to all of you, I hope you have an amazing day and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get a fist bump. Boom, fist right bump. there. Thank Bye you guys. Weaver.